All right, again, guys, explosive discharge here. Um, me and Chris have been up to something clever again. Don't you just hate it when, uh, for example, we went off camping a while ago to uh, quite a rural area, not a lot of signal, and then we wanted to Google and check the location or something, and um, we didn't have, we probably had about one bar of sort of GSM signal, so we couldn't look it up online because our phones sync and you really just can't get online without much signal. But you can still send texts fine and place calls fine. So um, we thought we'd make a system where you can send a me text message request, SMS request, and then it would reply with uh, sort of information that you might need when you're out on the go. So you can do a Google query or perhaps to look up someone's phone number or address. I managed to bodge together some software which is here. As long as you can see that. That's um, a little bit of software, so we might as well connect now. So we hit that and then connect, and this program should minimise itself. Chris, if you would like to, on your phone, send that a text. So we've sent it, hash goog SLA battery. Why are you not focused? Box. So it says here, it's actually telling you what it uh, received. So it's logged that, it sent the message to this, and it tells you the message that it sent. And there we go, back on here, we've got a link to batterymark.com and a little bit of info about what it says. So, do you want to try a DIR? Yeah. yeah. That uses DIR. the Google API yeah, just to grab the top. Google local search so we can search, I don't know, Tesco near. Uh, oh, what's one near on? Hmm. They both use Google. Chester. And this one uses the Google Maps API to locate. Thing so we're going to look for a Tesco near Culture. So neither of us live there, so That's we're not even sure if this is accurate. As you can see, we've got a command being received here. It's found the information and it's sending it back. For whatever reason, it's actually found the pharmacy inside a Tesco, but nonetheless, it will still work and it will yeah. get you to the Culture to Tesco. We've got uh, di um, not direction. Sorry, we've got the address and we've got a phone number. We can just tap to call. Yeah, so that will call straight away. But the software is fairly simple. I would show you the code, but I don't have it. I can post it if anyone wants it. Well, right, guys, this is the phone we've talked about. It's just sitting up here on top of the presser box there, constantly plugged in. And there is a little Bluetooth module. That's a D-Link Bluetooth module that interfaces with the phone. Little update. We've also moved the battery charger up here. Um, we also added a... Uh, an extender strip there. We've still been working on the solar panel vid. It hasn't really been uh, particularly good weather for it. We have got some footage today though of it um, performing as intended, but um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll, we'll post an update when we can. So thanks very much for watching. It looks like I'm looking at it through my shit.